Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Laura and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful ear cuff earrings. I am super in love with this type of earrings and I think they are very easy to make to be honest. So if you have some wire at home, maybe you can give it a try. So first of all, cut yourself 25 centimeters of wire and bend it in half. Use your round nose pliers to bend it, just like so. Now measure 3 cm and make a little mark. And bend the wire again using those marks as a guidance. So if you use your imagination, you would see that you have like a letter M. Now you have to join those two central wires you have. Choose one of the sides and wrap it around the central wires. You should have something similar to this. Use your pliers to tighten it a little bit. And you have to make the same with the other side. Just wrap it around, just like so. And the base is done. As you can see, I have these two butterfly wings. What I'm going to do is just to put them together, just join them. And that's it. The face is super, super perfect and done. And now use your round nose pliers to make little curves, like waves, on the wire. You can make these waves as you want. There's no rules for it. Just, just let your imagination run free and do whatever you want. I am making two waves in every side, but you can do more if you want. Uh, this depends on how long you want your earrings to be. Whatever you choose, whatever you do, try to make it even or symmetrical. Or not, up to you. Now cut yourself another 20 centimeters of a thinner wire. Mine, I think, is a 24 gauge wire. And you have to go through that little gap we have in between those central wires. Just like so. You can wrap it twice if you want. Uh, I made a try in another earring and I think it's perfect, but you can do it like, like I'm doing right now. It's fine. Now wrap the wire two, three times and insert your first bead. I'm inserting pearls. Wrap again two, three times, how many times you want. And now I made a little change of plant. So sorry if I'm confusing you a little bit, but I think it's gonna be easier if we make this part before finishing the earring. So what I'm going to do here is like a little spiral at the end using my round nose pliers. It's very easy. By the way, I must have probably two centimeters of wire. Uh, if you have more wire, this spiral will be bigger. And if you have less wire, you, this spiral will be smaller. As you can see, I'm making the second spiral on the other side before inserting the beads because I found it easier. And now, yes, let's continue with the beads. Insert a second bead like this and wrap the thinner wire twice or three times, how many times you did before. Cut the excessive wire and hide the ends. And let's repeat that in the other side. Wrap the wire a little bit, just like so, three times, for example. Insert the bead, make it fit on your wave, because sometimes it's bigger. Wrap the wire again. Insert a second bead, and wrap the wire one more time like two, three times, how many times you made it before. Cut the excessive wire, hide the ends, and all done. You should have something similar to this. Use a pencil or a brush, whatever you have, 
to bend those ends a little bit. What we are doing right now is just making a little hook and it's gonna be the hook that is gonna hold your earring to your ear. Now you will see that with the manipulation it has deformed a little bit, so just put everything back in its place. Now it's time to try your earrings on. If they fall out of your ear, simply bend this part of the hook to adjust it better. Sorry, I cannot give you better instructions because this totally depends on your ear shape. The next step is to bend it a little bit to give it a curved look. And well, this earring is all done. As usual, I made two different earrings with different designs just to try different things. And as you can see, in the first one I made this little wrap in the center which looks better, so it's up to you if you want to make it or not. However you make it, it's gonna look gorgeous. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative DIY jewelry. Hit the bell to be notified every time I post new videos. Hope to see you in my next tutorial, but until then, remember, stay beautiful, smile and be very, very happy!